Sasa now ni wakati mzuri. It's another good time. Wakwenda kwenye mambo ya ndoa. Eh uh, going to these uh, marriage issues. Bwana ubariki sana. God bless you so much. Sio vibaya kwenda sasa kwenye mambo ya ndoa. It is not bad if we approach the wedding things. Amen. Amen. Na sasa uenda Esther wangu akawa na maana. My Esther now. Sasa <laughs> Esther my Esther <laughs> can have a meaning. Yeah. Mungu abariki sana. Amen. Turudi kwenye kitabu cha Esther. Getting back to the book of Easter. Esther sura ya kwanza. I'm sorry it is the first chapter of Easter. Nitasoma kuanzia mstari wa 10. I read from the 10th verse. Mpaka mstari wa 20. Through 20th is a little bit a long scripture reading. Nasoma haraka haraka nikimaliza ndugu atasoma. I read in hurry after finishing the brother will do the same. Hata siku ya saba mfalme alipofurahiwa moyo wake kwa divai aliwaamuru me, uh, Methumani, Biza, uh, Habona, Figta, uh, Bantha, Zethari na Karkasi wale wasimamizi wa nyumba saba waliohudumu mbele za mfalme Ahasuero wamlete Vashti Malkia mbele ya mfalme amevaa taji ya kifalme ili kuwaonyesha watu na maakida uzuri wake maana alikuwa mzuri wa uso bali Vashti Malkia alikataa kuja kwa mfalme kwa mkono wa wasimamizi wa nyumba kwa hiyo mfalme akakaribika sana hasira yake ikawaka ndani yake basi mfalme akawaambia wenye hekima walio na elimu ya nyakati maana ndivyo ilivyokuwa desturi ya mfalme kwa wote waliojua sheria na hukumu na karibu karibu naye wameketi uh, Kerushena she, Shethari Admatha Tarshishi Meresi Mesena na Memukani wale maakida saba wa uajemi na umeni walio uona uso wa mfalme na kuketi uh, wa kwanza katika ufalme akawauliza tumfanyie tumfanyieje Vashti Malkia kwa sheria kwa sababu hakufanya kama vile alivyoamriwa na mfalme Ahasuero kwa mkono wa wasimamizi wa nyumba basi memukani akajibu mbele ya mfalme na maakida huyo Vashti Malkia hakumkosa mfalme peke yake ila na maakida wote na watu wote pia walioko katika nyumba majimbo ya yote ya mfalme Ahasuero kwa maana tendo hilo la Malkia litajulikana na wanawake wote hata waume wao watadharauliwa machoni pao itakaponenwa ya kuwa mfalme Asuero aliamuru Vashti Malkia aletwe mbele yake bali hakuja hata leo hivi mabibi wastahiki wa uajemi na na umeli waliokwisha kuzisikia habari za tendo la Malkia watawaambia bibi hivi maakida wote wa wafalme hivyo utatokea dharau nyingi na ghadhabu tele basi mfalme akiona vema na itoke kwake amri ya kifalme nayo iandikwe katika sheria ya wajemi na wameli isitanguke ya kwamba vashti asifike tena mbele ya mfalme Asuero na umalikia wake mfalme ampe mwingine naye mwema aliye mwema kuliko yeye basi mbiu ya mfalme ikatoka uh, mbiu ya mfalme atakayoipiga itakapotangazwa katika ufalme wake wote nao ni mkubwa wa, wake wote watawaheshimu waume zao wakubwa kwa wadogo nadhani mmesimama sana kae i think you can enjoy your seat acha isome mkiwa mmekaa from the 10th verse through 20th on the seventh day when the heart of the king was merry with wine and co- commanded Mahman, uh, Biza, Habona, Bigsta, and Agata, uh, Zeta, Kakas, and seven chamberlains that they saved in the presence of Azueras the king, to bring Vashti the queen before the king with the crown royal to show the people the princess her beauty, for she was fair to look on. But the queen Vashti refused to come to uh, at the king's commandment by his chamberlains. Therefore was the king very wroth and his anger burned in him. Then the king said to the wise men, which knew the times, for so was the king's manner toward all that knew the law and judgment. 
and the next unto him was uh, Krishna, Shetar, Admata, Tarshish, Meres, Merzina, and Mamakan, the seven princes of Persia and Media, which saw the king's face and which sat at the first in the kingdom. What shall we do unto the queen first? According to the law, because she has not performed the commandment of the king as well as by the chamberlains. The Mamikane answered before the king and the princes, Vash the queen has not done wrong to the king only, but also to the princes, to all the people that are in the provinces of the king as well as. For this deed of the queen shall come abroad at all women, so that they shall despise their husbands in their eyes when it shall be reported. The king as well as commanded Vash the queen to come uh, to be brought before in him, but she came not. Likewise shall the ladies of the Persia and Media say this day unto all the king's princes which have heard the deed of the queen, thus shall there arise too much contempt and wrath. If it please the king, let there be a loyal commandment from him, and let it be written among the laws of the Persian and Medes that it uh, not be altered. That vast come no more before the king as well as then let the king give her royal estate into another that is better than she. And when the king's decree which he shall make shall be published throughout all his empire, for it is great, all the wives shall give to their husbands honor, both great and small. The Lord bless you so much. It's one of the uh, long re uh, scripture reading. Amen. And then, I will speak just a few things. Because I also believe when we meet as such, it's a good time to uh, encourage the marriages that have just started, but also to strengthen them that have been already. You know, a strong marriage uh, produce a strong family. Na familia imara, and a strong family imara. produces a strong church. Nisawa. Is that right? Tukiwa na ndoa, uh, dhaifu, if we have a, a weak, weak marriages, weak marriages we we'll have a weak families, na na we dhaifu. will end up with a very weak church. Ni kweli si kweli. Is that true or not? Eh? Yeah. Now there's something here, maybe I will point it to some a few things. Easter. Easter hapa, here on Easter, kuna mambo siyo ya ya there are things that are not common mentioned here. Amen. Amen. We see there is a king uh, Ahasuerus. And this king Ahasuerus. Now, in his correctness, he represents Christ. Amen. Amen. Ambapo, Whereby, um, if you consider there were seven church ages in between, there are two groups, each of seven people being mentioned about. The first seven group, they talk about seven church ages. And the second seven people, they represent seven messengers of uh, seven church ages. Amen. Now, for all the seven church ages, Christ had the bride, had the wife, we should say, rather. Amen. Amen. Whom the wife was denominations. Do you think before us, people that were in denominations, they were not saved? They were saved at the time of Luther. Smoking. The Russians shall live by faith, but smoking. And they, were, they got saved. 
Now, considering them all of the seven church ages, they are taken, considered as, a, as the, the wife. Now, together all with Catholic, we get one wife in the name of Vashti. Amen. We get one wife named Vashti. Consider verse 10. Hata siku ya saba, on the seventh day, mfalme, mfalme moyo wake kwa when the card of the king was married with wine, so, eh? siku ya saba, on the seventh day, Asurero, king Ahasuerus, his heart was married with wine. And wine is presents the Holy Spirit. So the seventh, uh, the seventh age of the church, Mtawa Azusa, the Holy Spirit came back. The king cast was married with wine on the seventh day. You see, it was on the seventh day. King's heart was married with wine. Amen. Amen. You, yeah. Amen. You see, my, uh, the scriptures they together. On the seventh day, when the heart of the king was married with wine, now, and we know that. When the gifts were restored, the power of the Holy Spirit at the church, Christ Christ rejoiced. Amen. Amen. He called upon them seven church ages. Methumani, Biza, Habona, Bigitha. You don't even have to repeat that one. Yeah. Amen. Methumani, Biza, Habona, Bigitha, Abgatha, Sethari, Na Karkasi. Na wale wasimamizi, walikuwa au ni saba. There were seven, you know. Na wale wasimamizi wa nyumba, wa nyumba saba. And the chamberlains of the seven houses. Wasimamizi wa nyumba saba, wale wa nyumba saba. Chamberlains of the seven churches. That served in the presence of King Auswerus. And we know the seven messages of the seven churches. They were the spirit that when in the presence of the uh, throne. Those are the ones who served before the king. Don't you see how the word devotee you together? Amen. Amen. Alafu, he called them and told them mbele ya mfalme, should bring Vashti before the king with a, a crown, royal crown. Ujumbe ulipokuja, when this message came kwa kwa was brought to the denominations first. Kwa kwa was brought to Vashti first. Watu wote wa called all people of denominations, give them this. Vashti Vast denominations rejected the message. They rejected the message. Amen. Amen. When they rejected the message, Amen. 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 Verse 12. Amen. Amen. He came back to the wise men. The king came back to the wise men. Those have got the knowledge of the time. That they know how the church ages are. He came to the wise men. The holiness is our, our, our wisdom. Is the Holy Ghost is our wisdom. Amen. Amen. Who knew their times? Concerning the ages, all of them. Amen. Amen. What, what, what happened? Uh, okay. Uh-huh. 
waliojua sheria na hukumu na karibu naye wame wameketi sasa sikiliza hao walioketi now listen these who sat before majina yao ni tofauti na wale kule their names are different from the, the previous ones hawa hapa these ones are perishema mahali fulani mtajua hawa ni wale wajumbe wa nyakati saba za somewhere you not find that these are the seven yes, messengers perishema mm-hmm. shethari kama ungeni 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 ningechochewa hii kerishema ningesema paulo If then I was uh, 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 I would have said Kershema is Paul. Shethara. Shethari. Shetha. Ningesema yule nani mwingine? I would say what was the second one? Huh? Erneo. Adamatha. Agamata. Angekuwa Martin. Would have been Martin. Tarishishi. Angekuwa Columba. Tarishishi Columbus. Meres. Meres. Is it? Meres angekuwa nani? Luther. Luther. Lusa Marisena angekuwa Wesley Mazina Wesley Memukani angekuwa Branham <laughs> Memukani would be Branham Na tutaona Memukani atakachokifanya ili ujue alikuwa Branham And we see what Memukani did to know that he represented for the Branham Hao wanaitwa maakida saba wa uajemi na wa, wa umedi na uajemi These are called seven princes of Persian media Unajua sheria moja ya wamedi na uajemi One law of the Persian and the media One of their uh, attributes Ni kwamba sheria zao that their laws hazibadiliki do not change Yaani you know Yaani mbingu na nchi zitapita Heaven and earth will pass Neno langu halitapita kama My word will not pass kwa hiyo hawa wajumbe saba Now these seven messengers ni wajumbe wa neno ambalo they are the messengers of the message <laughs> of the word which is the same as the law of the Persian and the Median Hallelujah Hallelujah <laughs> Amen Amen <laughs> Hai Hawa pia hawa even these ni walio uona uso wa mfalme They saw the king's face. Kwa hiyo ni wale wale. They are the same seven spirits which sits in the front of the throne. Amen. Amen. Sasa hao now them these hawakuongea wote. Not all of them spoke. They sat first in the kingdom. Huyu huyu nani? Memukani. Now Memukani. Memukani ndiye atakayeleta shida. Memukani will, will be troublesome here. Akauliza. Eh, kwanza mfalme akauliza. The king asked. Tumfanyeje Vashti Malkia kwa sheria? Yaani hii sheria yetu sio badilika. Yaani kwa neno. What shall we be done to Vashti concerning our word? Our law. Tumfanyeje. By using the word. Kwa mujibu wa neno. According to the word. Vashti. What shall we do to Vashti? According to the word. Amen. Amen. Kwa sababu hakufanya kama vile alivyoamuru mfalme Ahasuero. Cause he did not do as the king Ahasuerus commanded. Kwa mkono wa wasimamizi wa nyumba. To the deed of the chamberlains. Sawa eh? Amen. Basi Memukani yule wa saba. Now the seventh one. Memukani. Memukani. Akasema said answered. Ak- akajibu mbele ya mfalme na maakida. Before the king and the princes. Akasema huyu Vashti Malikia. Said this Queen Vashti. Haya madhehebu haya. These denominations. Hawakumkosa tu mfalme peke yake. They did not offend the king only. Hawakukosea peke yako wewe Kristo. They did not do wrong to you Christ alone. Ila na maakida wote. But with all the princes. Na wote pia walioko katika nyumba eh, katika majimbo yote ya mfalme. And the whole in the ah, provisions of the king how was Auzeras. Yaani kitendo alichofanya Vashti. What Vashti did? Ni kibaya kwetu sisi wajumbe. It's evil to us princes. Na wengine wote wanaohudumu katika makanisa mbalimbali. And all other who have ministered in different churches. Kwa maana tendo hilo la Malkia cause that thing of the queen litajulikana na wanawake wote will be known of all women na wanawake ni kanisa and women is churches all churches will know baba mfalme amezarauliwa na mkewe that the king was despised of his wife kwa hiyo heshima ya wanaume wote itashuka so the respect to all men will low down sasa muangalieni huyu Memukani ujumbe wake now consider the message of Memukani ujumbe, ujumbe wa kuwaweka wanawake mahali pao Remember the message of positioning women. 
They should not despise their husband. He says, their leader, Vashti, showed them denominations. The denominations do not respect the word of God. Now, they should be dealt. Memukan. The seventh. God bless them so much. Amen. Amen. Memukan goes on, he answered. Anasema, hata waume, watadharauliwa machoni pao. Even husbands are going to be despised in their faces. This was the one who did not want husband be despised of. Kama Vashti amemdharau mfalme. Vashti has despised the king. Kama ilo kanisa la kivehebu nimedharau. If that denomination church has despised nimemdharau kristo. Christ. What about we pastors? We're going to be despised very much by our churches. Amen. Amen. So he said, he just uh, advised. Amen. Yani mabibi wastahiki hayo makanisa yenyewe yaliyosimama vizuri katika hilo neno lisilobadilika The ladies that have stood good to the word which does not change of Persia and Media akida wote wa mfalme and all the princes of the king Unajua akida you know the prince Akida ni nani ni ni, ni kamanda Is a kamanda eh? Amen Hivyo kutatokea dharau nyingi na dhadhabu tele There shall arise too much content and wrath sasa memukani anatoa yeye anavyoona So this is how memukani advise If the king find it well na itoke kwake amri ya kifalme There should go a loyal commandment Nayo yaandikwe katika sheria za wamedi na waajemi Should be written of all the eh, among the laws of Persian and Medes That should not be uttered Ya kwamba that Vashti asifike tena mbele ya mfalme Ahasuero. Vashti should no more before king Ahasuerus. Kwa hiyo huyu memukani akahubiri ujumbe unaoitwa na kishitaki kizazi hiki. I condemn this denomination. Glory. That's the message of Memukan. Na akasema and also he said madhehebu yamekufa the denominations are dead. Luka tena. And they will never rise again. Amen. That's a law which is not altered. There will be no more life from the denomination. And there instead of Memukan advised that the king should not uh, say, uh, should not go should not, should not get back to Vashi, Meisha. But they should brought women before the king. Virgins. The virgins should be prepared so that the king should choose one out of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo wanawake wakaletwa. So women were brought before the king. Wote wale walio dai kwamba hata sisi sasa tumepokea Roho Mtakatifu sawa. Even them who thought that now we have also received the Holy Spirit. Okay, come. Mwisho wa siku kulikuwa But at the end of the day there was a qualification. Hawa wengine wote. All of these. Hawakuja kama walivyo. They did not come as they are. Hawakuja natural. They did not come kiasili. They were not in their natural. You know they came with what? Lungs are midomo. Red lips. And that's a signal of lying. Saying that, you know, I have a red mouth. But if you wash your mouth, you got a black red lip. So, they are lying. <laughs> they share the, the eyelids and they paint the ears but when they sweat then they can go this they are lying 
Wanakuja vichwani na nywele za kama za farasi. They come with their head, hairs like the ponytail. Kama mkia wa farasi. Like a ponytail. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Lakini hujaungana na ngozi yao. They are not connected with their skin. Ni waongo. Liars. Hizo <laughs> sio nywele zao. It is not the hair. Walikuja na vikorombwezo vingi sana. They came with a lot of cosmetics. Hallelujah. 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 Wakajaribu kumshawishi mfalme. Trying to entice the king. Putting on short skirts. The king to see the arm, but he was not enticed. Lakini Esther. But Esther. Alikuja vile vile alivyokuwa. She came as she was. Hallelujah. Esther alikuja vile vile alivyokuwa. Esther came as she was. Hakuhitaji kipodozi chochote. Didn't need any other cosmetic. Hakujaribu kuongeza hapa na kupunguza. Didn't try to add here and remove here. Vile ambavyo neno lilimtengeneza. The way out the word of God made her. Alikuja vile vile. She appeared the same. Hakuongeza hapa. He didn't add there. Wala kupunguza. Neither he subtracted from there. Neno mengine. Hakuweka nyusi za bandia. He didn't put on the fake kucha eyelids. Za, kucha za bandia. Fake nails. Ambayo hiyo ni additions ni vitu vya kuongeza. Extensions, extensions. Wala hakunyoa nyusi za. He didn't shave the eyelids. Wala hakunyoa nywele zake. Neither he she cut her hair. Alibaki kama alivyokuwa. She came as she was. Esther. Esther. Na Esther alipokuja mbele za mfalme. And when Esther appeared before the king. Mfalme akasema. The king said. Uzuri wa kumchukua huyu The beauty of taking this one will be taking something which I know. If I take this other, when I get home and they get washed, I will be surprised. Nita shtuka. Nita shanga. I'll be surprised. I'll look again and say, sorry, 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 sorry. Are you the one Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na leo hii and today kuna bibi harusi tena juu ya uso wake. There is a bride of the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unajua? You know. Wanasema hivi. They said it. Vya vya kawaida the natural inanena kuhusu vya kiroho. Speaks of the spiritual. Kuhusu vya kiungu. When speaks of the uh, heavenly. Kwa hiyo ili uwe na bibi harusi ambaye for you to have a bride who is not more beautified yes with too much cosmetics na mapambo ya kibandia mengi umeelewa ili ujue kwamba rohoni yuko hivyo showing that you are here inside kwa sababu ya mwilini inanena kuhusu ya kiroho because the natural speaks of the spiritual basi juu ya uso wa nchi leo know that on the land today we have churches ambayo wanawake wake whose women wa ukiwatazama if you look on them you see how they are hawana udanganyifu wote no any deception katika sura zao on their faces hata wengine the rest of them hata wana sorry for that asamahani kidogo they go to kariako wanaenda kariako and buy wananunua dawa za kuongeza bamba na mengine ni ya sponge <laughs> Some of them are made out of sponge. So they are fixed on it underwear. So when when she takes out the underwear then she's flat. The bride of Christ cannot make anything that is not original. To entice Christ. Because Christ know her better. Hallelujah. Hana cha kumficha. She has nothing to Na hide him. Amempenda hivyo hivyo. He has loved her the way she is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amempenda hivyo hivyo alivyo. Loved her the way she is. Hebu turudi kwenye maandiko yetu. Let's get back to our scriptures. Sasa. Now. Eh Mungu awabariki sana. See God bless you so much. Kuna andiko moja ni la kipekee kidogo. You know there is one very peculiar scripture. Ningependa nilisome kama would love to read it in case. 
Easter, the second chapter. Easter, Easter the second chapter, verse 8. Because the order was made. This vision, they should all put in one place. And there, they should be given the, 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 the gadgets, vessels of sanctification. Okay. Amen. You can call it whatever. For sanctification. Amen. Amen. Tools for sanctification. Vifa via utakaso. Because now this ten after God preaching and it was done put all the tools of sanctification on the tapes. And then take them tape to the virgins where they are kept. <laughs> the tools of sanctification. Those were the most important things. No any other people got such. Only the bride of Jesus Christ got such tools. But we should uh, where I want to read to uh, uh, verse 8. Kuna aliyewekwa asema basi ikawa uh, wakati iliposikiwa amri ya mfalme na mbiu yake wasichana wengi wakakusanyika huko shushani ngomeni mikononi mwa Hegai Amen Esther naye aliingizwa katika nyumba ya mfalme mikononi mwa Hegai mwenye kuwalinda wanawake Amen the keeper of the women he had the responsibility of keeping women. Because women need uh, to be kept. Adam didn't keep her, his. Hallelujah. So he left her roaming around the Kariako or ever. So he met that fellow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, there is Haggai, the keeper of the women. And Haggai, he stands on the press of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit protects the churches. Amen. He is with them wherever they are. Amen. There was another person I take him as a pastor who uh, up brought Easter. Mordecai. 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 Mordecai was pastor to Easter. And Easter, he, she couldn't do even one thing unless she asked her pastor, Mordecai. Esther was not something which could do on her own. When she gets something into trouble, starting informing the pastor why you're already in trouble. No. Esther he took that word which says you can't live higher than your pastor. Amen. Amen. And in every strange revelation that Na, comes to you, kigeni, au funuo mgeni unao kujia, consult your pastor. Musishe mchungaji wako. Consult Mordecai. Musishe Mordecai. Huyu ndio alikuwa Esther. This was Esther. The Easter I know. Esther. 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 I love that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said there in this during the service. I'm finishing right here. Just to officiate, remain. Said this. Head like two weeks ago. 
the committee for, for the uh, social services for uh, I mean the parliament of Tanzania tarifa, they pro mgeni. produced it, a report in the uh, uh, in their report one of the things which they issue that they raised walisema, they said the country is faced with such a serious problem which is marriage I mean divorces a lot of divorces. Sasa, waka, now, waka sema, kwa jiji la Dar peke yake, they concerning Dar es Salaam city alone, kwa mwezi, each month, ndoa zaidi ya miatatu, more than 300 marriages zinabunjika. apart. Na zinabunjika, and, ni zile ambazo, and these are the ones which mahakamani, they were taken to court. Hakimu kwamba hii, I fight and the judge also uh, allowed that, okay, it should, they should part. Miatatu kwa 300 marriages each month. The meaning is like 5,000 marriage divorces. Because they say if you say 300 in a month they did not say about. They said more than so it means more than 5,000 marriages get divorced in a year only in the Islam city. Those that were legally divorced. There are so many which are already divorced. Once they are not in harmony, two things happen. Either the husband just he grabs take your things and leave that is one type there is another type the wife says you didn't find him under the tree my brother Those who are not taken to court. I want to tell you, sisters, by experience, because I am, I am a Swahili from Dar es Salaam. I've lived in Dar es Salaam more than 40 years. I'm here. If you need a, a junk from Tandika and Bagala, here I am. 40 years in Da. I am now Da. <laughs> so I know what I'm saying. Those which are taken to court, they are very few. Many, they're just ending here on the streets. Court, there's paying penal fees. Yeah, you come again, another recall, another recall. You pay for the advocacy. People do not want that trouble. So, even that uh, statistics that were taken to parliament, I believe they are not the real ones. Amen. Amen. Now, members of parliament were just uh, uh, commenting on that. I don't want to get into the parliament. They, they will call me on the committee. <laughs> I don't want to touch what they said. I call them outside. I follow them that outside. Don't say what they said in, in the parliament. They will call you to answer. <laughs> They recognize you. They can recognize you. Sawa eh? You see? Sasa, huku nje walikuwa wanatoa maoni mbalimbali. So they are given a lot of suggestions. Baadhi yake a few of them were but some of them were yalikuwa pumba. They were very rubbish. Niko nao huku nje mtaani tuko I am outside. I'm talking with the public outside, not in the parliament. Okay. Some of them tried to speak some good reasoning. Some of them a little bit they tried. They said, you know the problem of this is a lacking of a fear of God. And then people do not attend churches. They don't attend mosques. I listened to them. But I want to tell you those that are called so churches, those are so called mosques, you find a 
He has got so much big problem more than yours. The pastor himself got a concubine in the choir. And he, he was tired of his wife long time ago. So I do not think that those churches got answers to. The correct answers. They are with Hajai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na Mordecai pekee. Eh ni Mordecai. Amen. 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 Sasa tatizo ni nini? Now what is the problem now? Hapa nizungumze kwenye kanisa la Ubungo kwa sababu mimi naamini. I should na, speak na, now to Bongo Church because na, I believe and I think that's true. Yote Tanzania, Among all churches in Tanzania, na, na, na amini, na na I believe and I think it's true. Ubungo, Ubungo Church has got so many educated people. Kuna so much truth about that. They are here. No, <laughs> 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 Amen. Amen. <laughs> is it? Now, there is a problem in the society which has uh, combated all of us. Even for we whom are called believers. I have said if you have got a strong marriage if you have got a strong family the first one is the marriage. It, it becomes a family. You have a, a strong church. If you have a firm church, you have individuals who are strong. Whom these people? They are Tanzanians. So you have a strong Tanzanians. Is that right? Sasa, ukiwa na dhaifu, ndoa dhaifu, if you have got a weak marriage, utakuwa na familia dhaifu, you'll have a weak family, utakuwa na kanisa dhaifu, you'll have a weak church, utakuwa na watanzania dhaifu, you'll have very weak Tanzanians. Kwa hiyo kumbe mahali pa kujenga, so somewhere to, pa kuanzia, somewhere to edify, to begin with, ndoa. is from the marriage. Unapaona ndoa mpaka wabunge wanaenda kujadili kwa mba ni janga, if you see that even the, 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 the the, the parliament discusses marriages as a trouble, something so troublesome. So it's very serious. Now it's this way. What makes you so much? We are full of uh, foolishness. When we bear children, we call baby boy. We start thinking kuhusu engineer wa siku zijazo. The future engineer. The future doctor. The future teacher. Or something special of such. And we consider so much their earthly life. A good politician. Or something of a sort. And we invest it thoroughly well. Nowadays when he is three, taking to a kinder care school, I want my kids to be educated. And we choose the best school. We take them there. There is something that we have to take We expect them to be something when they are matured. We want to be them be engineers. We want to be them be good scientists. Good doctors, good economists, and so forth. Those are the, the thought that the parent has. I want to tell you that idea is worldly idea. Even that without the Holy Spirit, fix the same way. Even the, uh, the, the, witch the witch doctor, they think the same. Wanafikiria kama wewe. So you got the same idea with the sangoma. You got the same idea with the witch. No difference, my friend. 
concerning your child. We have forsaken one thing. We forsook that. Maybe I would want to speak this Concerning earthly life. Now after life after this. Our destination. Is heaven. We all attend church. We become Christians. We do everything we can. We want after, have, after here on earth we go to heaven. But concerning earthly life, it's also a journey from childhood unto the adulthood. It's just also a journey. Now, also, if you ask God, God, God's perfect will have never been education. I'm not opposing education, no. But when God made people in the, in the Garden of Eden, he wanted a family. Amen. Amen. Now, remember if you bear a child, if it's a, a, a she child, you must get the idea right there. Now here, I have got somebody's wife. I got somebody's Amen. wife. Amen. So you start as soon as possible preparing somebody's wife so that in the future should be, should become what she has to Destination. Amen. Any woman's destination is when she becomes somebody's wife concerning earthly life. When she becomes a wife, she should bear some kids. She should be mama. That's another thing. So we have to prepare somebody's wife and to prepare somebody's mama. But we do not do so. We are supposed to to prepare somebody's husband and prepare somebody's daddy. But we do not do so. We prepare engineers. Now, some other time, if I take a good example, engineer of Mitambo. We never prepared him to be somebody's husband. She's, I mean, he becomes matured. Done with the school. Been granted his certificate. Sasa yeye ni engineer wa mitambo. Anapata kazi. Employed somewhere. Sawa eh? You see? Baada kupata kazi. After being employed somewhere. Sasa mwanetu sasa umekua. Ah, our son now you are matured. Sasa unatakiwa uoe. You should now marry. Lakini kitu pekee anachojua alicholelewa toka The only thing he knows from childhood. Ni engineer wa being mechanical engineer. Being mechanical engineer. That's all he knows about. Mechanical engineer. When you give him a wife, he treats her like a machine. Ata muende shia kama mtambo. Kwa sababu ni makani kwa engineer. Cause he's muende shi wamitambo. What do you expect? Ana ukimpamke. If you give him a wife, the only experience he has, how to deal with mechanics. Do you expect to have marriage over there? Where your husband knows experience of the mechanics? And this wife, the only experience she was brought up with to become, she was prepared to become a doctor. Cutting people legs. Syringing and etc. etc. You know what doctors do. Sasa hapa, now here, tunakutanisha kuna engineer wa mitambo. Now there is a union of a mechanical engineer. Na ya bolt na he knows how to plug out them tough bolts. 
and how to knock hard and there's another one he knows to do operation cutting down things you know now tell me the activities that will be in that house the husband when he just does this he is syringed it's not okay already surgery is done you know how they do operation for you to do a surgery to a person you shouldn't have feel sorry for him or her <laughs> you blast him as well <laughs> you laugh but you see we do a very great mistake we do not prepare our children we don't prepare a male child to become somebody's husband we don't prepare him to become somebody's daddy we don't prepare a girl child to become somebody's wife to become somebody's mother we are bewitched by the world we as Christians we should prepare our children for strong marriages strong families church, a strong church and the real Christians Amen otherwise we are found in mistakes you marry them and then we tell them I don't accept this stupidness. The day of the wedding. Ah, the aunt will give some uh, commentation, advices to the newlywed. The aunt comes. Our daughter. Marriage is all about long suffering. Hey. Be patient as much. It takes you to be long suffering each other. Are we getting married for us to long suffer? <laughs> Are we going to be operated? <laughs> God bless you so much. Amen. Amen. So they give such advices. <laughs> and squeeze they have got some other nonsense. You will bear uh, for me calling them words. I want you not to glorify them. Somebody they call a kitchen party. They believe in, in such a ceremony the lady will be taught all of the staff believing the husband but but for he for her to be a doctor and maybe I, I educated you five years with a lot of money but to be a mother somebody's wife five minutes she's given or maybe half an hour of this nonsense in the name of kitchen party but her own mind is not neither in the kitchen party because she's just thinking about how to face the one coming shouldn't be such stupid to think that you will prepare somebody's wife on a single day, kitchen per day with your advices on wedding or send off day that is one of the cosmetics even the vipodozi vya kitinga amen they don't help anyhow they don't help anyhow. A daughter should be prepared from when she's young. Nowadays, mothers, you don't sit with your daughters to speak to them. For them to keep their virginity. You don't do so. Parents, 
You, we, we, we are guilty of that. Let us train them. Let them despise us. They should face their own problem, but that they had nothing to do with us. We must upbring children in the domination that they will know one day, one day they will be having a, such a responsibility of keeping their families. We better tell them in case they go against we be innocent of that. Whether we should tell them how many God girl kids in here? If you have not prepared her to be somebody's wife, start now. How many got male children? If you have not prepared them to be husband, somebody's husband, somebody's daddy, start now. We have heard. Won't live here before I read one a quote. Amen. Amen. There is one quote I read also during the send off uh, ceremony, and I'm going to do it again here. And that's where I'll mark my end. Huh? Many of us, when you were to, that is 60-0604. Uh, Tarende mozo wa sita, tuende kwa nani? Paragraph 103. Kifungu cha miana tatu. Many of us, when you were to, building upon education. Tunawekeza kwenye elimu. We can't even get teachers to go in school. We are, we are talking about. Hatu wapati hatu walimu wakwenda shwene ambao tunazungumza. Now, that's all right. Hayo ni mambo mazuri. School is all right. Shule ni kitu kizuri. In its place. Kama kikiwa mahali pake. School is good. Shule ni nzuri. In its place. Mahali pake. Amen. Amen. But it will never take the place of Christ. Kama shule haitachukua mahali pa Kristo. It will never take a place a place of uh, Kamwe, for Christ. Kama elimu haitachukua nafasi ya Kristo. Amen. Amen. Let's give our kids, our children Christ. No, sir. Now, can't even get okay. Our teenagers are ha, so rough. Vijana watu Till people won't even try to teach them. Hata watu wajaribu kuwafundisha chochote. Little Oswald. Oswald mdogo yule. And Liz. Uh, and Liz. Na Liz. And all of them, Wale vijana odogu odogu. they will run the teacher out of the building. No, they will run the teacher out of the building. Wata mfukuza mwalimu kutoka darasani. Amen. Vitoto vina charuka vina fukuza mwalimu darasani. Ngoja tuende tutawakuta na nye mlioko chuo kiku. They will set up a protest. Wata anzisha kamgomo. They will strike. Wata anzisha mgomo. They will close up the school. Wata funga shule. I don't blame them. I wouldn't be a school teacher either. Wala siwe, if I could get you out of it. Of it. Kama patana na hilo. But we are talking about education. Lakini la now, that's all right. Yonisai. Education. Elim. We don't want a bunch of illiterates. Hatutaki rundo la kuto kuelimika, la ujinga. But we want education in its place. Tunataka elimu, lakini itumike maripake. Amen. But the trouble of it is, uh, is. Lakini tatizo la leo ni. Today. Leo. We, we tried to educate our pulpit. Tumejaribu kuyelimisha mimbara yetu. And when we did. Na tulipo yelimisha. We took the way out. Tulitoka. Tuliondoa njia. Amen. Amen. And Christ is the foundation and the way. Na Christo. Ndiye msingi. Na ndiye njia. When we put education. Tulipo weka elimu. Education is all right. Elimu ni jambo zuri. But listen. Lakini sikiliza. Many times. Mara nyingi. Education. Elimu. Leads to the demon 
of education. Imewapeleka kwenye pepo la elimu. Did you know that there Ulijua is a demon of education? Kwamba kuna pepo la elimu. Eh? Eh? Unaposoma usome huku ukijua kwamba huwa kuna pepo la elimu. When you get school be known that there is a demon called education demon. Kwa hiyo una, unasoma so you are being educated unakwepa pepo. Escaping that demon. Unampisha unasoma. So you just escape him. You see it here, you just dodge. Now, being educated is a, 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 until you finish, you're just fighting with that demon. You should know there is a demon of education. When my prophet says it's there, who are you to say it's not there? Amen. Amen. And this is how it is. All right. Amen. But listen, many times education leads to the demon of education. Angalia, mara nyingi elimu imepelekea kuwa na pepo la elimu. And that demon of education, na ile pepo la elimu leads you to linakuongeza, linakuongeza, linakupeleka kuwa unajua yote. Mjuaji. Hatuna cha kukuambia. Mtu akiongea, unamsikiliza, unasema All right. Now, if somebody speaks, uh, 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 uh. illiterate. <laughs> ujinga, ujinga. When you go to school, if you ulisoma lini? Ulisoma wapi? Soma wapi? Ah, okay. ah, sawa. I know where the problem lies. Ah, nimegundua tatizo liko wapi. <laughs> <laughs> Kwa sababu kila kitu anataka achukue na elimu. Everything compares you with, with education. Even the Holy Spirit. He wants to receive the Holy Spirit in educational, educational way. <laughs> you people. And that demon of education leads you to know all. Lina kufanya kuwa mjuaji. Unajua kila kitu. And when you get there, ukifika hapo, then you become an infidel. Unafanyika mpa, kafiri. kafiri. And you deny Christ. Na unamkana Kristo. So you can't build upon the foundation of education. Hivyo uwezi kujenga msingi juu ya elimu. Neither can we build upon political power. Hatuwezi kujenga msingi juu ya nguvu za kisiasa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those are very crucial things should consider. Outside there, where our children have been deceived, they call them front. Say, this one comes from front, you know, beyond. From foreign front, front, what does they mean? I thought maybe they are insulting. He lives front. Said, where is front? Said for the developed world. That they are in front, you know. <laughs> Say, no, we are behind. This, this is backward. Them, they are in front. Okay. <laughs> front people. <laughs> Some other time. Bishop Kakobe <laughs> head ask of Kakobe alienda Canada akahubiri kule visited Canada and preached there aliporudi when he came back akasema niliyoyaona ni said yabu. what i saw they are very wonderful uh, marvelous kule he says there eh watu wako kwa 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 madaraja na tabaka people Kasi. lives in classes sasa thamani ya viumbe <laughs> the value of the beings cha kwanza kabisa the first one ni mtoto is the child Canada in Hata Canada lakini nizungumze zaidi kuhusu Canada I'm speaking about Canada wa kwanza kabisa ni mtoto the first one the child wa pili the second one ni mwanamke woman wa tatu the third one kwa thamani wa tatu ni mbwa concerning the value is a dog mbwa. a dog alafu mwanaume anakuja namba 4 then the man is number 4 then I thought because Bishop Kakobe is Kakobe and is still Kakobe. Maybe it's not true. <laughs> now, recently, we have a certain brother at our church. 
He is uh, coming from he's in Rwanda. Sasa mama yake Now his mother katika ile mambo ya ukimbizi na nini walikimbizi they, they, they are living now in Canada. They are now living in Canada. Uh, now they are living in Canada. So, this mama came to see his children. So, when we were chatting, I got the testimonies of Canada. I asked, what about their human rights? Because even human rights themselves, they are of the devil. A human being does not have any rights. All rights are of God. He is righteous. If it, it, it took us to have any rights, we'll have the right of Christ. Not our own righteousness. We don't have Hatuna hata moja. Amen. Amen. And we don't even have rights. Wala hatuna haki zetu. Tuna haki vipi. Which rights? Our rights. Akizetu. Is to go to hell. Ni kuzimu. Kwa sababu tulizaliwa wenye dhambi. We were born in sin. Tukaja duniani tukisema uongo. Came in word speaking lies. Hatuna kitu chochote cha kuweza ku 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 to compensate. Kufidia hiyo. We do not have anything to compensate with. We don't have. Hatuna. Kwa hivyo sisi hatuna haki yoyote. We do not have any right. Kwa hivyo there is no human rights. Hakuna haki ya binadamu. Human rights is of the devil. Haki za binadamu ni za ibilisi. Inapaswa iwe ni haki ya Mungu. It has to be God's righteousness. Oh, God's rights. God's rights. Amen. Haki za Mungu ndio za maana. God's rights are more important. Amen. Sasa akaniambia, so she told me. Yeye mwenyewe tu. By herself to begin with. Said, haki za binadamu kule human ah, rights there. Ah, wanazingatia. They are so much considerable. Said, what about children? Said, you are child. You, if you just beat him, they, you will be child, put in jail and your child will be grabbed by the government. It's against the Bible. The Bible says, the fullness is hidden in the heart of a child. Only the road will ride it away. Now, how will we ride it away? And God has got only one way. If a child got full nation is now is in his heart. Only the road. Only the road. Amen. Amen. Only the road. Now you can't even. I wondered even what uh, the bishop said. She, she told me there. We just live. Lakini, but in reality, kule, kule, there, yeah. the most precious person is a child. Then a woman. And this, she's, she, she's a woman. You know? And then number three, the dog. The dog, the cats, you know. All pets. Wakufugwa. Wakufugwa wote wale, number three. Then a man is the last one. Then I said, the word should be vindicated by the mouth of two. Now these people, we are copying from them. We must have an understanding. The understanding of Christ should be in us. May God bless you so much. I'm sorry for offending you, taking a long time. But that all I had in my heart. If they've helped one person, I thank the Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Amen!